we are back now and on my computer and so I left off where I told you guys that you download the software off of the gamecapture.com slash download and so I already installed it and I'm gonna start it up for you and takes a little bit to load but oh and yeah it's gonna say no signal because my Xbox is off but all I have to do is turn it on and it's ready to go it should load up yep here it comes <laughs> alright come in nice and clear looks really nice and there it is it's pretty pretty simple obviously the big red button is the record button and I just have it muted because I usually I don't like to hear it because it has a little bit of lag and you can hear the sound like a little bit later while you're playing so it's always good to mute to mute it or turn your speakers off on your computer but anyways here here's the first thing I want to talk about is the settings up here or their preferences I guess but as you can see up here it says library location you can ch you can change where you want your videos to save and I have it on always convert newly recorded videos but you can have you can have actions at the bottom when you go to the edit tab over here you can have like you can check all these actions off to go in to movie maker or you can have it share to your iPhone YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, all that stuff. I don't I don't know why it says 1080p. I guess it's for right here the for this thing, 1080p for iPad and Apple TV exports. But oh, and for formats, you can choose I don't know why it says 1080p again, but I just leave it on MP4 original. It's a lot, it's easier, I guess, to use that file. And I think it may be a smaller file as well. But, anyways, on to, I don't, I guess this is just their little about tab. And then you can obviously capture and edit. And here's the settings for the device which is my Xbox 360 and here's the input is HDMI profile you can put it it says with analog audio and I guess you can you can use it so you can have HDMI for HDMI for the video and the audio is the analog I guess so you can have you can record your friends talking in your party chat or something which I usually do when I want <laughs> I guess and there's preserve source format I usually leave that off for some reason it, may, it, it records better when it's not trying to preserve the source format but I, that's just on that's just like it's the default preference I guess and you can change the settings of the actual screen on your Xbox up oh, there's Mike there's Mike Ori. anyways you can change the brightness which I'm not gonna do contrast saturation I usually put it up a little bit cuz I like it with more color it looks better and I don't mess with hue 
I usually don't mess with contrast, but with analog audio you can increase it so you can like if your friend's voices are too low or something you can increase the the audio gain so they're louder but and quality always at best and I leave it on you can you can record up to 1080 it says just it just says HD 1080 but I'm pretty sure it only goes to 1080i and I don't I don't really like to record on 1080 because 720 is just as good it's basically the same thing it's just smaller it's just a smaller resolution and it has a, its smaller resolution means smaller files like here well I don't know if, if you change it to 1080 you have to make sure your Xbox is on is switched to 1080 which mine is on 720p right now as you can see there but see, it doesn't let it doesn't let me go to 1080p. It's but it's grayed out, I guess you could say. So I just leave it on 720p because it's basically the same thing. And that's pretty much it for that for preferences and stuff like that. You can reset to defaults, but. I'm just gonna leave it. Anyways, I'll I'll we'll, we'll just record really quickly, like five seconds or something. All right, and if you're not recording while you're playing the game, while you're playing a game, and you do really good or something, there's this little blue bar down here called, well, I call it like the time line, I guess, because you can like just drag it back from whenever you started. You can. I guess go back in time and re-record over what you missed I guess you just press the record button and I think you drag it back and start it from there but as you can see it's going through the it's going through the timeline <laughs> and once you're done with that you, if it's if you record for a long time it's gonna be like it's gonna move really slowly but right now it's moving pretty quick and if you just wanna go back to the be like where it is now you just click live go straight to that or you can drag it all the way up but anyway for tags I guess you can title you can make a title of your video you can put what game as like a sub tag I guess and description and this thing right here brings up a lot of stuff see so video title game title game level configuration description and tags so you can like search it in your computer I guess and find find it more easily if you like put in a tag or something I'm not I don't really know that much about tags I don't use it I just put it in put them all in a file and organize them from there but after you record it takes a little bit to like it like post processes I guess or like you can see it takes a little bit to load but you can like chop it up start it from somewhere else you can cut right here cut that full that spot and you can drag it apart extend that shorten this you can do pretty much anything I haven't really fooled around with this because I do all of my editing on Sony Vegas that's works out well for me but as I said before those if you go up here I think it's up here yeah you can check off whatever you want like whatever actions you want to be able to share videos I just leave it on mp4 original because it, it always converts it to the mp4 files so as you see I, le I left it up here alright that's pretty much it I mean there's not much else it's a pretty simple program you just capture and edit and export it upload it do whatever you want with it alright I guess my time is up but anyways look forward to our videos in the future and I guess like and subscribe
and thank you for watching. I will see you guys later.